Hi everyone, Andrew here for TechView, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install the Windows 10 Tech Preview in a virtual machine uh, using VirtualBox. This can be done on Windows, Mac, or Linux. So first things first, you're going to need to uh, go to the VirtualBox.org website and click Downloads, and download the correct version for your operating system. For Windows, you're going to click this, OS 10, you're going to click this, and if you use a Linux operating system, you're going to choose this. You'll also want to go to preview.windows.com. This will redirect you to this page here, and you're going to click get the ISO files. Scroll down and download either the 64-bit or 32-bit installer, preferably the 64-bit one, but you can use the 32-bit one if you do not have a 64-bit computer. Obviously, there's other languages to choose from if you need to, and I've already downloaded the 64-bit one, so we'll use that. Also, in your BIOS, you will need to make sure that the uh, Intel virtualization is enabled, and that's all you'll need to do before you set up Windows 10 in a virtual machine. So once the virtual box is installed, you're going to open up uh, the VirtualBox app from Launchpad or wherever you are, depending on what operating system you're on. Click New and type in Windows 10 Tech Preview or whatever you want to call it. Can't type. Uh, make sure it is Windows 8.1 64-bit or 32-bit if you're using the 32-bit version and click Continue. Uh, choose however much RAM you want. I'm going to choose two gigabytes because I have a eight gig of RAM and I'm also editing some videos, so I don't want to overload the RAM, I guess. <laughs> uh, continue, create a new virtual hard drive. Create, make sure it's VDI, then continue, uh, dynamically, al dynamically allocated is fine. Continue, make, uh, set this to 25 gigabytes or larger. I'm just going to use 25 gigs because I already have a Windows 10 virtual machine set up with like 64 gig of storage, which is fine for me. Cl click create and then you'll be here. So then you're going to click the settings button and you will go to system uh, processor. Make sure you have PAA NX enabled uh, and go to display. Make sure you have 3D and 2D acceleration on and preferably make this as large as possible. I have a two gigabyte VRAM graphics card so I can set this to be 256 megabytes. And uh, storage, you're going to, in here, click uh, the disk button and choose the ISO. You're going to click this but because I've already got it in the list, I can just choose it here. Then click OK. From here, you're just going to click Start. It'll take a few moments to uh, boot up for the first time. Okay, so this then should appear. You can change the time and currency format if you want, but it's quite a long way up to get to like Australia or something because they've got a bajillion more languages now. So I'm just going to leave it as United States, then click Next and Install Now. Okay, so the uh, license term has appeared, so you can just click I Accept, then Next. Uh, custom, select the drive and click New and Apply and OK. Then you can just click Next. This process will probably take about 10 to 20 minutes, depending on the speed of your computer and hard drive and everything. So I'll be back once this is done. Okay, so now it'll be doing some of the uh, getting prepared for user input setup, where you enter a username and password and other things like that. Okay, so after a few more reboots, you should be at the setup screen. So you can just press use express settings. Okay, so now it'll ask you to set up your account. You can either, so just press uh, 
actually no you cannot use a non microsoft account so i'll just sign into mine quickly okay so once you're signed in it will set up your account okay so now it'll go through the long process where it will uh set up your apps and everything this will probably take about five to ten minutes okay so once all that's done you'll be kicked to the desktop and from here you're going to click devices and insert guest additions cd in a few moments you should see a auto play thing pop up but you're going to ignore that and instead you're going to open up file explorer and continue wondering why the CD has not appeared yet. You can try ins inserting it again, might not have worked. <laughs> okay, so there's the CD. You're gonna right click on that and choose open. From here, you're going to right click on VBox Windows Editions.exe and click properties compatibility run this program in compatibility mode for Windows 7 click OK and then open it click yes uh, next next install OK strange oops uh, wrong one AMD 64 Run this program in compatibility mode. Okay, open, yes. Next, next, install. Install. Okay, so then you'll have the virtual machine reboot. So yeah, you're going to use the AMD 64 installer in compatibility mode for Windows 7. Okay, so when you reach the lock screen, you're just going to click and enter your password. Okay, so once you're at the desktop, you can click the plus button and uh, right click screen resolution. And Hmm. Okay, so apparently the virtual box things are not actually installed. Strange. Well, anyway, uh, obviously because this is a tech preview of an OS, you're going to have some issues getting things working, like the uh, guest additions in virtual box. But apart from that, you're all ready to go and experiment with uh, Windows 10 tech preview. This has been Andrew, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.